Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you. Amen. So we can get in the word in many different ways now. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. God has left us with no excuse. Amen. If you can read or can't read, you can get in the word of God. I find in the old days, uh, the pastors, they couldn't read as well with the most strongest preachers. Isn't that amazing about God? Amen. He takes the foolishness of the world and confounds in the wise. He takes the weak of the world and confounds in the mighty. Amen. Amen. God knows how to take things that are not to bring to pass the things that are. Amen. 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 Praise God. How many of y'all love the Lord to give God a hand praise? Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. You know, you all always makes me nervous. You know, when I get up here, I get say, you get nervous, and that's, oh yeah, that's the reverence I have for God. Because I want to speak what God says and not what I feel or think. Amen. This is why I take it serious what the Apostle Paul told Timothy to preach the word, to be instant in season and out of season, to rebuke and reprove with all long suffering and doctrine. That the man of God can be perfect. How many of you know you can become perfect? Amen. amen. The man of God, amen, can become perfect. But you got to strive. Amen. How many know you got to strive? Amen. Amen. You got to really strive. Amen. Well, bow your heads with me. Bow your heads. Gracious and eternal Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord, and we praise you, God. We thank you, Lord, for bringing us even to this junction, this place, this hour, this moment. Father, you told us you'll never leave us nor forsake us. You'll be with us even to the ends of the world. Oh, Lord God, we thank you for never leaving us, manifesting yourself in many ways into us. And we thank you for bringing us back to this place that we can sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Now, Lord God, these are your people, the sheep of your pastor. Feed your lambs, even through me. Feed your sheep, O oh God. Cause your people to grow in grace and in knowledge of our Lord and Savior. Cause these, your children, to be doers of the word in this hour. Oh, Lord God, help them, O oh God, to be doers of the word and not just hearers. In the name of Jesus. Now sit down and now stand up in me, O Lord. Work your work today. In Jesus' name. Amen and amen. 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 I want to draw your attention to the second, second Peter chapter number two. Second Peter chapter number two. Amen. Now thank God that God is a God that hears and he knows all things. On Tuesday morning, when I come out of prayer, amen. You know, we pray from 5 to 6.30-ish, amen, and if you still feel like praying on that prayer line, even though the time is up, you can keep on praying, it's all right. It's all right to pray two hours, there's nothing wrong with that. And if you feel that unction to go three hours, go for it. Amen, amen, amen. You, amen, rise up and have to pray all night, it's okay. Amen. Pray all night. Amen. Don't wait till troubles hit to try to start praying. Amen. 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 Jesus told us plainly, men should always pray and not to faint. And not to faint. In the book of 2 Peter, and beginning with verse number, 2 Peter chapter 2 and verse number 1. The Bible says, but there were false prophets also among the people. Even, even as there shall be false teachers among you, Amen. who clearly shall bring in damnable heresies, even denying the Lord that bought them, and bring in upon themselves swift destruction. And many shall follow their promiscuous ways, a reason of whom the way of truth shall be evil spoken of. And through covenants 
So they, with foreign words, make merchandise of you, whose judgment now of a long time lingereth not, and their damnation slumbereth not. For if God spared not the angels that sinned, but cast them down to hell, and delivered them into chains of darkness, to be reserved into judgment. And spare not the old world, save nor the eighth person, and preach your righteousness, bringing in the flood upon the world of the ungodly. And turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes, condemn them with an overthrow, making them an example unto those that after should live ungodly. And delivered just lot vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked. For that righteous man dwelling among them, in seeing and hearing, vexed his righteous soul from day to day with their ungodly, unlawful deeds. The Lord knows how to deliver the godly out of temptation. And Reserve the unjust until the day of judgment and judgment to be punished. And let the church say amen. 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 When you look at this passage, you may find this is the second epistle of the Apostle Peter. It's three chapters, three powerful chapters of the end time. Warning the people, and I can feel in my heart that he was yearning to try to prepare us for our day. Because as he says here in chapter 2, verse 1, there were false prophets also among the people. Amen. Amen. Always been false prophets. Amen. But now he's trying to let us know that there are also, look at it, look at it. False, he didn't just say prophet, he said teachers. 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 Amen. The picture of this is very graphic. How God really hates false prophets. Amen. False teachers. Amen. Warning those that don't want to hear the word of God. Now, when you look at that word teachers, you begin to meditate in it and begin to dissect it and break it down. Don't you know that is not just the preachers? Uh -huh. There are many people, amen, that are teaching false things. Amen. Some of them don't even go to church. Some of them just got a platform somewhere. But people are listening to them. Our world, amen, is in turmoil right now because of the way people have been taught. People have been taught wrong. And people have decided they don't like God anymore. Even people in the church that come to church, they hear and they reteach or re-preach the message. God is going to deal with them. Amen. But short, for, for, for a short talk, talk for a short talk this morning. Thank you, Lord. The separation before evacuation. A lot of times we wonder why is all these things going on in the world? What is happening here? And here, a man in St. Louis, Missouri. This is about the 12th week that they told folks not to go to church. And they say, come to church, and then folks don't come to church. Some people have gotten to the place, they've got comfortable being away from the house of God. Yes. But I heard David say, oh, I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. One of the things I found out, there's beauty in the house of God. There's security in the house of God. I dare you to really get in here and want God come into the house. Look at your name and say, it's time to get in the house. 
Amen. Amen. Peter here tells us that these men are false teachers who came in privately. They came in sneaking. Amen. A lot of times folks come to the church to hear and see how the real church works. Come on now. Oh yes, they do. It's amazing to me how many people even say they're part of a church. And I heard Jesus say, up on this rock, I'll build my church. Amen. My church. Now, y'all have to ask yourself, are you in Jesus' church? Like amen. Are you in a, a church? Because here, amen, the Bible lets us know that Peter on the day of Pentecost lets us know that we got to repent. You're in the church right now, even the true church, and you haven't repented? You're not in the church. You're wrong the church. Oh, yes. I'm taking my time, but we're getting out of here. There's a true church, and there's a false church. Even as there are true prophets, and there are false prophets. Let me digress a minute. That prayer, I got up on Tuesday, and God spoke to me and said, close the church. I didn't know they was going to have a curfew. And I talked to Sister Douglas and told her to send out a text about 9 a.m. in the morning that we're going to be praying for a couple of hours instead of coming to church. Found out that because iniquity has abound, sin has abound in the streets, they put a curfew out. Are y'all listening? Amen. God knows how to order our steps. Look at your neighbor and say, are you listening? Separation before God take us out of here. A lot of times people, amen, really feel that they, amen, are so, amen, endowed on leaving God's house that they doing something smart. But in reality, they have been rejected. Are y'all listening to me? They'll be rejected of God because they did not want to hear God. Are y'all listening? Amen. See, when false teachers and false prophets begin to talk, amen, they begin to spew what we call the witch's spew. And I, 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 the Bible tells us don't receive those cockatrice eggs because those poisonous eggs get down into your spirit. And after a while, you'll be looking at somebody cuckoo. Oh, yes, you will. Amen. See, false teachers and false prophets understand the power of words. Even as Jesus said, the words that I speak to you, there are spirit in their life, amen. A false teacher will speak, amen, into a person's spirit. And if they don't cast down that mess, if they don't rebuke it, amen, and it get down in the spirit, and after a while, it will burn something, and it will not be like God. Are y'all listening? Amen. This is why we got to recognize, amen, uh, that even in the last days, uh, we're going to see many, many, many false teachers rise up. Uh, they're going to talk to you. They're going to try to talk to me and say the way of truth, amen, is not the right way. Uh, when you have a holy Bible sitting in front of you, uh, hallelujah, uh, Jesus told us, amen, uh, the words that he speaks, amen, uh, not somebody else. Uh, that's why it's so important, amen, to hear and hear the word of God. Because uh, faith coming by what? Hearing and hearing the word of God. Don't sit in the church and reject the word of God. When you know it's God to fulfill the lust of the flesh, I said don't reject that. Amen. Oh, I would have got an amen or two. Hallelujah. We got to realize folks in there are running around fine, trying to find somebody to agree with them instead of agreeing with God. I believe the word of God is right. And when I came into the church, I was a messed up, miserable, messed around person. I know that's right. But it's something about when you receive the word of God, God will put you in his hands and he'll move you into another man. Are y'all listening to me? I know if any man is in Christ, he's a new creature. All things are passed away. The Bible says all things become new. The apostle Peter is trying to get us to understand uh, 
for somebody will yield themselves the issue, the usher, the power of God, to use the power for the glory of God. Don't you know? God will give you prophecies. Yes, He will. It won't be your thoughts, it won't be your ways, and not what you think. It's what's coming to pass. And what's coming to pass, not what we in the past. I know that's right. Hallelujah to God. Thank you, Jesus. I'm just trying my best to step your prayer lines by the way of remembrance in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Because when nicotine abounded, hallelujah, grace for abound. And God has said, I'm separating some folks because you ain't been no good to me. You've been lukewarm long enough and I'm still young. I'm still young. I'm tired of you. Yeah, no wonder. 
and apply myself. I, I went to school. I, I learned the rules. I, I learned how to do some things. If you want to go up in this life, yes, you're going to be rejected sometime, but you won't get rejected all the time. Why do we have rich, rich black men? Men that's talking all this stuff. Talking about somebody got their knee on them. My Show you. 
morning, you should have quit a long time ago. <laughs> you better listen, you better listen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Because he's in front of the king. Shed a kiss is on the body. Yes, you are. You're tormenting yourself. You're messing yourself up. Be not drunk with wine. But be filled with the Spirit of God. Put the love of the Spirit of God. Yeah. <laughs> 
Thank you, Jesus. Just tear out all this foolishness. Let's get back to the word of God. Amen. Amen. Because that's a separation. God is separating the sheep from the goat. For that which is truly saved, and that's just hanging around the church. That's right. Yeah. And he don't know what he's talking about. <laughs> and you can't go through a test of your lights off for two days. No electric for two days. Oh, give me, give me, give me, give me. I was sweating so hard. I was sweating so hard. Hell, there was so much harder. You probably need them guys trying to get you sweating them impurities out you to save your soul. Come on to church and shame that God. Hallelujah. It never been time for people of God to go back to the word of God. Because there's a separation going on. Oh, yes it is. Yes it is. Yes it is. I didn't know they said the coronavirus it would have got you. I know that. I know that. But it's amazing how the front line soldiers had to go to work anyway. Amen. I didn't get to separate. I didn't get to stay home Amen. and cool out. I could have went up to my land. Hey, that would have been a real separation <laughs> in the middle of 48 acres. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Breathing nothing but clean air in the woods. Yeah, that would be good. They said, no, but you, you take off. You better have some sick days or some vacation oh, days. Yeah. We're going to fire you. Y'all, how y'all be hearing this? Y'all hearing this? Yeah. Amen. Amen. And a good man steps are ordered by the Lord. Yeah. Hallelujah. I thank God. Yeah. I didn't tell you not to wear a mask. You wear a mask if you want to. Amen. 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 That's why sometimes. Yeah. Amen. Amen, church. Amen. 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 The Bible tells you to be wise. Amen. He told you wisdom is the principal thing. Amen. And folks get what? Wisdom. And all that getting, get a what? Understand. Somebody's trying to get real rich too, because if everybody in the whole world get a vaccination, that's a lot of money. Yeah. That's a lot of money. <laughs> but I heard somewhere it was written, for the love of money is the root of all evil. Follow the paper trail, people of God. Follow the paper trail. Amen. Amen. Separation. I mean, sometimes you got to separate yourself from folks. Come on, amen. 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 Quarter minded folks. Yeah, folks that don't want to do nothing to eat at the country buffet. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> now, all they want to do is leave church and go eat. You know, that's amazing to me. Amen. When I was a little minister, amen. Praise God. I left church and went to the prison ministry. I left church going to preach to the nursing home. I went to the homeless shelter preaching, preaching. Go out on the street and tell somebody about Jesus. Woo! Then I get some to eat. Amen. Hallelujah. Come on, here. Yeah. I have meat to eat. And you know that all. That's what Jesus said. Hallelujah. My meat is to do the will of him to send me. Amen. Somebody needs to understand. You got to finish it. Amen. Maybe your neighbor said, you got to finish it. Amen. You got to finish your work. Amen. I wouldn't want to stand before God and have had my work fulfilled. And the last one of us got a job to do. Come on, bitch. Amen, 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 church. It ain't just coming in singing a few hymns. Amen. That's good, but that ain't enough. Amen. 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 Combinations for saints, that's just one of the combination numbers. Right. You got to put it all together and continue. Are y'all listening to me today? Amen. Church, if you have been to time to understand that enemy is fighting tooth and nail Amen. to sift you as we. Yeah. And if he can't get you out of church, he wants you just a lukewarm. Right. Woo, make you feel like you're doing all right. Because oh, I'm blessed. Yeah. My goodness, if that's the case, shoot. All these folks that don't even know nothing about the baptism in the name of Jesus. Amen. Don't know nothing about speaking in tongues that the Spirit gives utterance. <laughs> they must be more blessed than you. They got millions upon millions. Come on here. Amen. Come on here. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. I thank God for the truth. Amen. Amen. Evacuation. 
God is going to get us up out of here. Amen. But he's separating. See, now, now let, me, let me share where my clothes are. I got to say this. I got to say this. Say it, if this word cuts you, <laughs> the word is a two-edged sword. Oh, it is. It must be you walking in the flesh. Because a sword cuts flesh. Every time I want to get my meat cut, I put out my knife. They're real good ones, you know. Now, cut, shoot, shoot. Cut that meat up real good, y'all know what I'm saying? But if I want to sharpen my knife, I get what's an iron. I tell you, iron sharpen iron. See, if you really with God, you are. And the word of God doesn't do nothing but sharpen you. But faith come by hearing and hearing by the word of God. But how can you hear without a preacher? How can you preach unless he said, and if he said, he got the Holy Ghost speaking in all the tongue that the Spirit of God gives words. That's the sending power. That's the apostolic power. Yes, it is. How many people just had the nerve to tell you, you know, it's supposed to be going to church. I'm closed and I got to close. I don't want to be sanctified. Why? Did you not read in your Bible? Mm -hmm. Sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is truth. 1717 yes, Saint John. Yes, Amen. Sanctify them through thy truth. That word of truth, then you don't want the word of God. And if you don't want the word of God, you don't want God. Because in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. And the word was made flesh and dwelt among us. And we can tell the glory. The glory of the only God and the Father. For the grace and truth. Hello, church. Hello, church. Folks sitting in the house of God hating one another. Come on, live. You don't love, you don't love the one you see. How can you love God who you can't see? God is love. Separated with God. Amen. Sanctify yourselves. Yeah. Sanctify yourselves. Amen. Make yourself holy. Amen. How you gonna make yourself holy? You gotta get in the word of God and follow it. Right. Follow it as a dear child. Yeah. And you know, I, I'm closing. I, I just keep saying this, but you know, things keep popping in my head back. You know how people say, yeah, play softly, please. Thank you. People say, you know, they're trying to change me in the church. Duh. what you come here to do. Get changed into a new creature. To pull off the old man and his deed and be renewed in the spirit of your mind. And put on a new man. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Stand with me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Restore, restore. 
the joy. Restore. Restore the joy. Restore the joy of our salvation. Restore the joy of our salvation. Restore us. Restore Restore church, We storm in the west, we storm in the east, we storm in the north, we storm in the south. We storm your works, Lord. We storm your people. We storm your people, Lord. I am Lord, let them 
eat of the fat of the land. But as they eat, oh God, cause them to consider. Oh Lord God, from whence these blessings come and be more zealous in the things of God that they can go and say, if it wasn't for the Lord, where would I be? And I bless you. I thank you. In Jesus' name, come on, give God a praise. Come on, give him a